what's up and welcome back to the channel welcome if you're new you know what to do go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become part of the family my name is Z and I love to do tons of lifestyle fragrance home and pink related content so if that's something you love are interested in you're definitely gonna want to hit the bell notification to be notified every time I upload a new video so in today's video I will be sharing with you my spring room yes you guys I am finally like almost done with it there's still a quite bit more that I want to do with it but I will update you guys when those updates come in I figured let me just go ahead and get this up for you dolls so you guys can see what my room is currently looking like for the spring I hope this video inspires you loves to be creative in your space and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the room tour yes okay my pink paper doll hi loves it's me your girl Z and welcome to my channel all of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Okay, you guys, let's go and see my room. Okay, guys, so here's a quick overview of my room. Okay, so this is the double doors that we just came in through from the hallway and I just put some sticky decal like ribbon on the doors they're like these bling decal ribbons that people use to decorate for weddings and stuff like that I just put them on the doors and I got this off of Amazon I'll see if I can link it below for you guys but if you search bling decorative bling ribbon it should pop up I do want to change out the doorknobs to crystal handles. That's going to be like my next project. But for now, I just have these old handles. Then you're going to turn to my left. And on my left side, I use the same sticky bling stuff to cover up my um, light switch cover. It is coming up a little bit because I did not cut this to size. So that's why it looks like it's coming up a little bit off of the wall. But yeah, it's super cute. And I just hated the ugly light switch is. And I just felt like this made everything look a lot better. On the floor, I have this giant vase that I believe I got from Home Goods. It's sparkly. It has all of these pink and silver beads all over it. And in the sunlight, it just looks so beautiful. I got this frosted rose from Michael's on Christmas, like around Christmas time. Um, I don't think they have it anymore, but it's really pretty. And I thought it looks really nice in this corner. Eventually in the summertime, I'm going to want to put pompous grass in there, but... The rose is fine for now. I have this photo frame that actually isn't supposed to be here. This is supposed to be in the entryway, but I didn't like it in the entryway, so I bought it in here. And I actually really like this um, photo, and that's why I brought it in here. But eventually, sorry, please excuse the loud noise, but eventually I'm going to do something a little bit different on this wall. To my right, I have these photo frames. You guys saw me style this in my Danish table video. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I love the butterfly prints for spring. I just don't like the frames anymore. So I have to find cuter frames and figure out a place to put them. But they're just sitting here for now. Above that is just this cracked bling art that I got from Home Goods on clearance. It's super pretty. It's cracked mirror, like pieces of tiny mirror. And I just love it. I love the way that it looked. I tried to put it in the living room and it just did not 
fit on any of the walls in the living room so i brought it back in here and it looks cute so here's the door i do want to get a rug eventually but there's a plan of the door i'm just gonna go this way i guess here is the entryway to my patio but i do have these pretty blush pink velvet curtains that i got off of amazon they are blackout curtains so they're black on the other side because this room gets very bright as you guys know you hear me talk about it in all my other videos how my room looks so orange and i hate that because of the sun but yeah i use these curtains especially to when i want to film in the daytime otherwise i have to film at night because it's just too bright in here and the colors don't look right i also have this like crystal um curtain rod that i got like years ago i can't remember where i want to say burlington i have here on the ceiling this vintage chandelier that i got from a thrift store it was a cast iron chandelier and i ended up spray painting it pink and putting some pink pearl candles in it that i got off of not off of from hobby lobby super cute i might change that though depending on what i do in this corner but just coming down, I have these sheer pink sparkly, you can't tell that they're sparkly because of the light, but they're like these sheer pink sparkly curtains by BB that I got from Burlington. And then I have these crystal beads here that I got off of Amazon. I recently hung these. You guys may have saw me post about them on my Instagram if you follow me there. It just makes your room look so beautiful because the sunlight comes in and it reflects all of this beautiful rainbow light. Um, but yeah, I love that. And I hung them with some old shower curtain hooks just at the top and it works pretty well. And then moving down, I have my shell chair. I want to say I got this chair from Wayfair. Um, and I'll try and see if I can find a link and link it for you guys. I want to say I got it from Wayfair, but it could have been like Walmart as well because sometimes I can't remember, but I know for sure they have one exactly like it on Wayfair. So I'll try and link this chair for you guys, but it's so beautiful. I love it. I love velvet, which you guys will see is another theme in my room. I love pink velvet. The legs are this beautiful gold color. I definitely want to go with like a gold and pink theme in my bedroom but you guys now i'm like kind of okay with mixing metals like i'll do silver and gold together i don't care i have this pillow that used to be on our couch in the living room i brought it in here because i wanted to add a pop of white for spring and it just has all these pretty beads all over it i got this from home goods if you guys are interested super cute i love it and then below i have my little victoria's secret sandals aren't they so cute like this isn't a part of the room tour but i just keep them here like any of my recently wear worn sandals I keep in front of this chair because I love to sit here and like drink tea and read so I have these here but aren't they so cute from Victoria's Secret love those next to my chair I have this Parisian table that I got from home goods this used to be out on the patio but I switched it with another table that's out there now and I might end up switching them back I'm not sure there's the other table out there. It has gems all over it and I feel like bringing it back in because I think it'll match the gems in the window. Oh, you guys, look at how pretty. I love that. And then on top of the table, I have this beautiful bowl. It's pink and silver and cream. Got this from Home Goods. I have some sage because, girl, you got to get rid of those bad vibes. You got to, if you don't sage and you don't know what I'm talking about, like, get into it. Um, I also have this crystal that my sister gifted me and this is just a rose quartz crystal and then this vase that I got from home goods as well really pretty pop art type of a feel you guys probably can't see it but it's like a blush pink color next to this little table I have this vase that I also got from home goods I just like it it looks like street pottery and I think it's cute curtain rods are from BB and they're from Burlington and then I have this wall sconce that I got from the thrift store years ago. It was cast iron. I got it when I got this chandelier and I spray painted it the pink color. And you guys saw this on my TikTok. I added this rose for spring and just some gems there. And then I have this pink candle that I got from Home Goods. This corner, we just have Pinky's old like bed. She doesn't really go in there anymore. And I think it's because 
she's like too big for it so i need to get her a bigger bed and maybe gift this one away or save it for another pet that we may get two rugs here i have this rug that's from wayfair and then this rug that's from amazon i have this long pink bench um that's from walmart yes I got these from Walmart I got two of them and you guys my the opposite ends of my bed are almost identical they're not exactly identical so I'll show you guys in detail and are a nice rose pink velvet color I just love them I think they're so beautiful with the gold hardware really really pretty I wanted to put as much seating as I could in my room so that when I had people over there weren't people like sitting on the floors above that oh god what is this something pinky put Above that is this pillow that I got, I think, from Ross. And then I have this mirror. You guys seen this in like my other videos. I think I even hauled it before I got this from Home Goods. And I actually spray painted pink myself. And I didn't do a great job. I have to clean it up up there a little bit, you guys can see. But it is a really pretty mirror and I wanted to give the illusion of princess windows in my room and I just thought this looked the most, let me zoom out for you guys, I just felt like this looked the most like princess windows to me and so I went ahead and added those. There's me, hi you guys, and the ring light in the background. Um, okay, so and then we come over to my nightstands. I got these nightstands, I want to say off of, ooh, where did I get these nightstands? I Oh, you know what? I got these nightstands off of bedbathandbeyond.com. Um, I love the design of them. They're very, very nice and Parisian looking, almost not even Parisian, but more like Danish kind of. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but they were... Exactly the style I was looking for but the colors came a little bit off the colors were displayed on the website as pink this is definitely more of a peachy blush tone definitely not a pink color but it works for now until I can find something else that I really like I love like this design here and the knobs are gold and clear which is a theme that I am into and then on top of there I just have my lamp I got this lamp shade like years ago um my ex boss gave this lamp to me and um i just took off the lampshade and put it on an old lamp base that i had i actually will be buying new lamps because i am over the like mirrored lamp look i don't like it um and then i have this candle holder that i got from home goods a candle also from home goods this little base like cupcake base or cake base you would call it or holder display i don't know what you would call it but this is in the baker section at home goods i just tied a pink ribbon around it to give it a more of a girly touch for spring but yeah on top of that is a photo frame that i got from home goods with pinky in it look at her she's so cute you guys I can't then above my nightstand I have these round mirrors that are also made out of velvet because you guys know I love the velvet look and I got these from home goods as well I got two of them they also came in a like light mint green color which is cute as well so pick that up okay so that is this side of the room also you guys I am thinking about putting some shelves here to store my cute purses in this corner after I remove that so that will be coming soon in like another video this corner of my room kind of looks almost similar minus the like vanity table but now we're gonna get into my bed I just took a second to stop and turn on the lights because we're going into my bed so um where to start okay let's start with the canopy i found this pink canopy on amazon i'll try and link it below for you guys it's okay it's not exactly what i wanted but i just wanted something a little bit light and airy for spring i don't know that i'm going to keep it up all year round i feel like once the summer comes i'm probably going to take it down but i think it's pretty cute for spring um and then i actually i don't know if you can see it let me get up here I actually just hung some of the gems that I have in the window 
that I got from Amazon up here as well because when the sun hits this room those gems light up the room and it just looks so pretty I hung these pretty pink lights that I got off of Amazon I just think they look so cute especially at night I turned them on for you guys now so you can see what they look like um, but at nighttime they glow so bright and they look so beautiful and so I love them because I definitely want to do like a light airy um, like a starry night type of vibe so when you go to sleep you can see like the stars and stuff I don't know but I think it looks cute okay so my bed itself is like this tufted storage bed it is a velvet bed I think I got this off of walmart.com but they also had it on Wayfair because I was gonna buy it from Wayfair originally and then I saw it on Walmart for cheaper so I'll try and find a link for you guys a lot of you guys have asked me about this on my Instagram and I just haven't found the link but it's just like this a light pink color and it's all velvet and you guys the best part about this bed is that it has storage this whole front part is storage they, this part comes off that side comes off and the side on the other side comes off as well and i just store things down inside of them so that was an up part about this bed is that i was getting all the storage okay so moving down to my pillows i'm not going to go over every single pillow it's just a combination of a lot of pillows and a lot of these pillows actually don't belong up here i forgot to kind of make my bed for this video but um, i'm going to be taking a lot of these pillows down but they're all pretty much from home goods and and or Marshalls and um, a few are from Hobby Lobby the bedding that I have this light pink bedding underneath here this I cannot remember where it's from I keep getting questions about it on Instagram I cannot remember you guys I've had this bedding for years and I don't know where I got it from anymore so sorry about that I'll try and see if I can find something similar but this pillow came with the bedding. I got tons of questions about that round pillow. Um, and then let me show you guys. These pillows came with the bedding as well. These are BB from Burlington. These are pillows from the Christmas pillows from um, Hobby Lobby. These are BB from Burlington. This is just a pillowcase on a regular pillow. These are all from Home Goods. So yeah, if you guys are interested, check it out. Oh, also the heart pillow right here with all the pretty beads are also from Home Goods. That's not supposed to be up there. <laughs> that was from Valentine's Day. I just haven't done much with my bed in general because I haven't figured out what I want to do with it yet I might get new bedding like silk bedding I don't know so these two vases that I have on either ends of the bed those are from Burlington and the bouquets are from Michaels the middle part this tray I got off of no I got this tray from home goods it's really pretty rose gold tray I really like it um, and it has like crystal handles you guys that's so cool um, and then the teapot and the teacups are from Ross I keep getting questions about this teapot and these teacups and where they're from they're from Ross you guys so check out Ross for that um, I have this nap queen eye mask that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have a champagne toast candle from White Barn slash Bath and Body Works. And then this cupcake holder I got from Home Goods. If you guys are interested, it's so pretty. I'm sorry also if the lighting in the room is like changing, the sun is going down and this is like the only time I had to film this video because otherwise the room would have been orange. <laughs> um, This rug right here on the floor I got from where did I get this rug from oh I got this rug from Ross like a few years ago so okay love so and now we're on the other side of my bed you guys already know where I got these rugs from the same place I got them from on that side of my bed this one's from Wayfair I believe and this one is from um, Amazon and then another bench with the chair and then another mirror princess window mirror i like to call it it's so cute and then yeah guys this is pretty much the same the nightstands are the same of course the only thing different i have over here is a different photo of pinky she's so cute and then this clock that i got from home goods in the like stationary office section it's really cute, pretty it has like rose gold hardware on it i have another 
eye mask that I got in a gift set from Marshalls. And then this Ray Dunn coaster that I have here. I have this like jewelry holder. It's not supposed to be here, but it's sitting here right now. I'm not sure why, but I got this from Marshalls as well. Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna turn around to my vanity table. I got this vanity table, uh, I believe I got this off of Amazon years ago. Um, I changed out the knobs. The knobs were just a plain clear knob. I changed out to these really pretty crystal knobs. Sorry if you guys can see my handprints on them but they're like rose gold crystal knobs, really pretty. And then I added some more of that decorative, um, adhesive, sticky bling tape, or what would you call it? Bling decal. I edit that all around the edges of it, just so it could match my room, and I think it looks really nice. This used to be my vanity, but I migrated all of my makeup into my dressing room. So now this is like my nail bar area. Hopefully by now you guys would have seen the vlog. I don't know if the vlog is going up before or after this. Oh no, it might be going up after this video, but I put my nail bar together in that vlog. So you guys will see in the next girly vlog me putting this nail bar together. But yeah, I just have these perfumes sitting up here in this tray because I need to review them. You guys comment below, let me know which one I should review first. I will put a poll up on Instagram as well, so you can do it over there as well. But just let me know if I should review Can Can or if I should review Dazzle. Let me know in the comments below. But I just have these candle holders that I got from Hobby Lobby. I have two champagne toast candles from Bath & Body Works on either side. Um, over here I have this like little glass dish that I got from the thrift store. You guys probably saw that in the kitchen previously. I moved it in here because I want to get into doing gel and acrylic nails and I thought I could put my acrylic powder in here. I got this Juicy Couture bag from Ross, you guys, and it just holds all of my nail polish remover and big things that I couldn't fit inside of the drawer. And then I have this cupcake dish. I cannot remember where I got it from, but it's full of cotton balls. I've had this for years as well. This clear acrylic tray is from the bathroom section in Home Goods. This candle is by Botanical Candles & Co. Um, I've talked about them before many of times in videos and also on my Instagram. They are a really cute boutique candle shop on Etsy. Um, I'll link them below for you guys. And then this Ray Dunn like holder, cup holder, brush holder. It came in a set of two, like a makeup brush holder set of two, but I'm not using it. So I thought I could just put like my cotton rounds in there and that's what I did. Another Ray Dunn piece. I know you guys, surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> I'm not, and trust me, I am not a huge Ray Dunn fan anymore. Like I used to get a lot of her stuff, but like I'm not really into it anymore, but this is just useful. This Ray Dunn heart that says hello pretty on it and inside I keep some nail decal and yeah that's pretty much it for my nail bar um, oh my purse right here I just have my purse sitting out because that's just a natural place for me to put it and also I'm going to be filming a what's in my purse so I just have that sitting out but inside of the drawers I won't go into detail but this is just what they look like the organizers are from um, Amazon I will link them below if I didn't link them in the vlog video but yeah, that's the other drawer. Yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's my room tour for the most part. I'm gonna take you guys into the dressing room so you can get a peek of what it looks like in there. But here is just a quick overview. <laughs> last thing that I don't think I mentioned is my chandelier that is not a working chandelier it is not wired it's just hanging there for decor I will be using that in like a future home where I can actually wire it and it'll work but I got that off of Amazon it was pretty expensive although I would not suggest getting it unless you are a person who like tedious tasks because putting that thing together was just 
a nightmare. Okay, love, so that was this portion of my room. Let's go ahead and head into the dressing room where I will show you guys what it's like in there. Okay, guys, so we are back and we are in my dressing room. Don't mind the ring light right here, shining bright like a diamond. But yeah, we are back in my dressing room and I'm just gonna do a little tour in here. Might as well give you guys a quick OOTD. These slippers are from Victoria's Secret. These jeans are from Ross, I think. Oh no, I'm sorry, these jeans are from Marshalls and they're by American Eagle. It's a two piece set, so this top is from Shein. It's just like a pink sweatery top and then it has a little cardigan that goes with it. It's all cropped, super cute. So yeah, that's my quick OOTD. Thought I might as well give you guys that since we were in my closet. So this is where I'm gonna start it. So my vanity's right there, you guys just saw that. And then the door's this way and then here's where my dressing room is okay so when you immediately walk in there's two rugs right here that I got I believe from Ross and I couldn't find a rug long enough to go here the fit I will have to look online to see if I can find one so I just put two for now um on this side I have some flowers I just thought it looked so springy I got these off of Amazon there aren't any like fan anything fancy Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Buddy was making some noise in the kitchen. So yeah, this is the entryway. I think this is where I was at. As soon as you walk in, there's these two rugs that I got from Ross. I'm still on the hunt for a rug that can fit perfectly here. But since I already had these, I'm just using them until I find new ones. Um, okay, so let's start on this little wall first. So this little wall, I just have some LED lights, which you guys can see. I put these up like a few weeks ago. It's so cute. Definitely want to go for like a Euphoria Y2K theme in the dressing room. But yeah, I can turn it different colors and it comes with this little remote. You can also sync music to it and all types of things. You can dim it, you can raise it higher, make it brighter, lower it, whatever you want. Yeah, so perfect. I just have it on the blue setting right now because I feel like it pops the most against the pink. But yeah, and then I have a light switch that controls this chandelier right here in my closet. So this light switch is covered with that sticky decal from Amazon that I talked to you guys about earlier. I have that stuff everywhere. It's pretty inexpensive and it does change the look of a room. Like small little things like this really do change the whole vibe. Um, and then I have this mirror that I had for a while now. I'm sorry if any of these mirrors are dirty, you guys. I keep cleaning them and for some reason they keep coming out streaky, but I love this mirror. I love like the little design in the corner. It definitely kind of reminds me of like a mirror that my grandmother used to have in her dining room. I don't know why, but I love it so, so much. So I have it there. Uh, across from that is this big closet. Um, and I just have these flowers hanging from it. I got these flowers off of Amazon. They're not anything special, but they were like in the wedding floral section. And I just wanted something to make the dressing room look like, kind of like you walked into a flower bed or like you walked into a garden during spring. And I thought that this gave it the look without making it too floral. So yeah, you guys, and I have that on both sides of the mirror. And I love the way that that looks. It looks super cute. Let's go ahead and get this light back on because it is super dark in here. Okay, yeah, so that's so much better, I think. Really cute. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these up like all year. They'll probably come down during the spring because I want to do something different for summer. But I just have them tacked with little pins at the top so they're easy to remove. Also, this rug right here in the middle of the floor is from Walmart. Um, Wayfair also has this rug. I told you guys some things that Wayfair has Walmart has as well but it's really pretty it's like this pink round Parisian rug and I just love the way that it looks in the center of the room it does need to be moved over a little bit now that I'm looking at it okay so here's the other wall that we were just looking at through the mirrors and I just added these flowers here on this side and then some flowers over there and then I shrung the LED lights all throughout 
all the way over to the nail polish rack wall and then I stopped because I want to do something different above the mirror but I haven't gotten there yet um so yeah I do really like the way that it looks over here I just have my Victoria's Secret bra it's like a sparkly bra can you guys see that yeah it's really really pretty you guys can't see it now but um in the light it really does sparkle really really cute look how pretty it is I don't know I'm obsessed with it I want to do a photo shoot with it so that's why I kind of have it hanging there. You guys may have seen in another vlog, I had some pink stringing lights hanging here. I had to take those down because Pinky kept pulling on them and she actually broke them. So I have like a few left that I could possibly use, but I had to figure out how I want to use them because Pinky keeps, she's obsessed with them and she won't leave them alone. Okay, and so we're not gonna go into closets today, you guys, because I will be doing a closet clean out. So we'll just pan right on over to my dresser. So you guys, here's my dresser, and I got this dresser from a furniture shop um, in my neighborhood, and I love this dresser so much. It's like a pink chrome dresser. I love like the legs of it. I love like the handles are so pretty. It's like a silver handle. And the best thing about these drawers is that they do a lock, like they close like that, but then you can push it. Oh, let me see if I'm strong enough with one hand. And then it locks, you guys. So I love that about it. Um, yeah, so I won't go into detail into what's in each drawer, but there is like this mirrored pattern here, which I really like for the dressing room. And then on top of my dresser, I have this little tray that I got from Marshalls. I'll take it down so you guys can see it. And it just has some of my most worn things, a hair clip, some jewelry, some hair clips at the top, and it's all gemmed. Love this thing. And then I have this little swan that I cannot remember where I got this from. I want to say Home Goods, but it's a sponge holder. But I actually keep a chargers to um, some lights and a remote to some lights in my closet because I installed some LED lights in my closet. And so I keep the remote and the charger in there and it just makes it look cute and it hides it away. I have this candle that I got from Home Goods, and I tied a pink ribbon around it. Some new sunnies that I recently picked up. This pink organizer I got off of Amazon.com. Why did I say .com? Off of Amazon, and I just store all my jewelry in it. This jewelry box is so pretty. It's a sparkly jewelry box. I believe I got that from Marshalls a while back. And then I have this travel size pink case that I put like jewelry inside of when I need to travel it's super cute it kind of reminds me of Kate Spade so moving over this way I just have my jewelry holder or jewelry stand here to hold all of my necklaces I have like pearls and silver based jewelry on this side and then gold you guys can barely see and pearl gold based jewelry on that side bracelets over here and watches over there and they do have these little two compartments where i just store some extra jewelry and i think i have like extra pins in here yeah oh the lisa fang pin i need to put this up on poshmark um okay yeah so that is i'm sorry you guys are the camera shaky but yeah that is my dresser and then I have down next to my dresser this little jug. I thought it was really cute and springy. I want to put some pompous grass in it, but I have to order some because Pinky keeps eating all my pompous grass. Um, anyways, and then we go move on to my bathroom door. This bathroom door, you guys, I don't know why everyone on Instagram is obsessed with this bathroom door, but every time I post this bathroom door, I get tons and tons of people commenting and asking about it um again it just has that um shiny decal that i got off of amazon and just some of my my bags my most pretty bags and some headbands at the top um and then i have this like bling holder for it that i got out of home goods i believe either home goods or marshall's i believe it was home goods here's the doorknob i do plan on changing these out to crystal knobs but right now they're the ugly ones that came with the apartment okay guys and then we're gonna pan over to my sink so on this side 
again sparkly decal cover i have my nail polish rack here you guys have all seen that and on my sink you guys have seen my sink before i believe but yeah i have some candles i have this little dish with um what do you call it oh uh floss <laughs> some hand creams for after i wash my hand in here i keep all my scrunchies in this like apothecary jar that i got from home goods um and then i have this tray that i got from home goods with an eagle tools brush i have some like lip scrub here and then this set came also from home goods um and then i have this little tray this teamo thing that's been out since valentine's day i just keep it to hold my aligners when i take it out sometimes and they're still wet so i got this from target years ago so i don't even think it's available don't mind my cup i was in here doing my makeup so my cup's still sitting there um this little dish i got from home goods or marshall's i believe and it's by ray dunn and then you guys we oh hang on you guys let me let me pull some light in here is that better you guys i think that's better um the lighting was so bad it was getting so dark but hopefully you guys could see everything that i had showed you on this side um so now yeah we're moving on to my perfumes and you guys comment every time i show my perfumes you comment about the storage this cupcake stand is from home goods i'm not sure if they have it anymore or not but i got it last year and i'm obsessed with it and yeah i just keep all of my perfumes here at the moment well most of my perfumes i have to figure out another storage solution for my other perfumes and then another one of those pink makeup organizers that i got off of amazon and yeah that's how i store my makeup pretty much this is where the clutter starts <laughs> um and then this little dish that i got from home goods also by ray dunn and i just keep some of my like sample size perfumes in there um don't mind this this is like a, a cell phone holder like you can stick it on the mirror to do like tiktoks and stuff like that and self tapes um, I have my wall plug-in Bath & Body Works, which I heard is canceled, so I just took it out, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I'll probably use it up anyway. Um, okay, and over here I have this tray. I believe I got this from Marshalls. It's really pretty. I love all the rhinestones in it, and it just has all of my skincare and most used daily items. Next to that, I have another little dish. Oh, I don't think I told you where I got this dish from. I got this dish, ooh, I think I got this from like the 99 cents only store. Oh my God, I can't remember where I got that dish. Oh my God, you guys. But I just keep some of my brushes in here. I use this brush to put on like, um, I use these brushes to put on like skincare stuff that I don't want to touch when I have long nails. Pimple poppers and some like hair trimmers my mirror which still does not have the battery in it but it is an led mirror so cute and the stand is bling which i love and then a candle that's pretty much it you guys for my the top of my sink i did paint the sink pink we're probably going to get that taken out of our deposit and then i also got these crystal knobs off of amazon and added those on and then again just stuck the sticky bling ribbon along the side um it's just an easy way to decorate and if you're a renter you can easily take that sticky tape and that decal off it's the same stuff that you use for decals inside of your car the same type of material okay so the top of the mirror i have some of these sparkly decals again you guys they're like the a and b i hope you guys can see the sparkle it barely sparkles but um, I got these off of Amazon and they're butterfly shaped. And above that, I have a bow that I just tacked up there because I have so many holes and I was trying to cover them. And that's what happened. I still have some still showing right here. And eventually I'll need to like go in and clean that up, like patch it up. But for now, that's what it is. And then I also have the same thing on the other side, of course. And then at the top, I have this trim around this ugly hospital light but you guys can see it's the same bling material that is the decal stuff so that's pretty easy to take down as well when we move 
So yeah, is that everything? Did I show you guys everything for my sink before we move on to the other wall? Here's just a pan of my sink. Oh, the stool is from Ross. And it's just a temporary stool until I get my stool that I ordered last year from TOV Furniture. They're a horrible company and I do plan on talking about them, but I want to get my stuff first. But there's a cute ottoman. I'll pop a photo up on the screen that is supposed to be on the way and hopefully fingers crossed it'll be here in May. Um, and then this rug down here at the bottom I got from Marshalls. And then over here we have this like laundry basket type thing anyways i got this from the kids section the like the nursery section i think i got it in, from home goods nursery section or marshall's can't remember but i actually it's kind of junky right now because i need to clean but i actually just keep my slippers in here and like i have an extra blanket that needs to go away and then that's my slipper bag and then some slipper socks yeah but i just keep my house shoes and slippers in here and then above that, I have my towels that I don't use, you guys. I don't know if you guys do this or not, but when I was growing up, my aunts they used to have like really pretty houses with lots of decor in it, and there was rooms you couldn't go into, and the rule was, okay guys, we are back. You guessed it, the camera died, and it's still not charged, even though it's been sitting on the charger. So I'm gonna go as quick as I can. Um, I was telling you guys a story about the towels and I was just telling you that story about my aunts to tell you that these towels don't get used. I was taught when I was a girl that there are certain towels that are just for decor and then there's towels that you use and the ones that are on the rack are for guests and decor. You don't touch them. So these I actually don't use. They just sit there. I have a towel that hangs up on my door for my hands and things like that. Um, and then here's my nail polish rack. I have a few lip balms at the top. This sign is a Ray Dunn sign that I got from Marshalls a few years ago. That sign I got a long time ago from a thrift store and I spray painted pink. And then on this wall we have all of my shelves or floating shelves. I actually want to paint these silver parts pink like I did in my office. Um, but I got these shelves from Ikea. They are the glass floating shelves. But I just have this bunny that I got from the dollar store. Um, some teas, lotion by Victoria's Secret. I got this canister from Marshalls for home goods and the pink Q-tips I got off of Amazon. I got this pink canister with the heart from Target Dollar Spot. This is a um, Trina Burke, no, I'm sorry, Trina Turk train case that I got from Marshalls. Below that is this egg that I got from Marshalls, really pretty iridescent color. This stand I got from Hobby Lobby. That pink gingham bunny I got from the dollar store or the 99 cents only store. This is a Ray Dunn, um, like it was in the, the office section of home goods. So I think it's supposed to hold like pens and pencils, but I use it to hold my makeup brushes and beauty blenders in there. Um, and then I have this little macaron case to hold jewelry, but it's just holding nothing right now. I have my Champagne Toast Room Spray and this vase that I thrifted. I love the material of this. This is like a milk glass vase. I have two of them. And then I just have some fake flowers inside of it. And that's pretty much it for that wall. I'll give you guys a quick, a quickie. That sounds disgusting. But I'll give you guys a quick pan of that. So yeah guys, that is this room, my dressing room, and I figure we might as well go into the bathroom really quick. I'm not going to go into detail because there's really not like much to talk about. But yeah, here's the bathroom. And I have my robe hanging here with just this command hook that I got from Target. I have my pink bonnet, hair bonnet, and... A towel this is what I dry my hands on you guys if you're wondering and then in here I have some towels I can't remember where I got these towels from I want to say Marshall's I have this rug this is get naked I think I got this from Amazon but don't quote me because I also feel like it could have come from Urban Outfitters and I can't remember but yeah love this rug 
Above that is a mirror that I got from Home Goods. Really pretty. I got it in this gold lining color to match the gold trim around the doors on the shower. It is a standing shower. I got this little shower caddy from, I want to say Marshalls Home Goods, one of those. And yeah, we're not going to go into details, but the bottom shelf just holds like backup period stuff. I have my foot scrubs for foot bath and moisturizer. Have more period stuff up here and a um, air freshener for breeze. Some extra body care. And then the top just has like this beautiful base that also came from Home Goods dining wear area. And it's a picture. I just added some dried lavender. I think it looks so beautiful. This is also a radon candle in the Sip Peony. Really pretty. And then Philosophy's Pink Frosted Animal Cracker. You guys probably saw me rave about this in my favorites video. I have been loving it. Um, yeah, and then I just have this. Don't ignore the fact that the trash can isn't clean. So now I'm going to move on to the toilet. You guys have seen this hutch. It's from Walmart. I contact papered the pink inside instead of painting it and I added these knobs. I've mentioned these. These are the same knobs that are on the um, nail bar from Amazon and I just keep all my Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret body care in here. You guys have seen this before. If you want to see a full like organization of this, I do have a video for that in my fragrance playlist. I'll link it below. Above that, I have my Makeup bag, I got this from Marshalls, it's by Ray Dunn. A little vase that I got from Hobby Lobby with some flowers. This sign that I got from Marshalls, it says she believed she could, so she did. I love it. I believe it's supposed to go in a nursery, but it's cute here. Some towels, this mirror, it's like a tray, a mirror tray actually, that I got off of Amazon to take cute pictures with and do TikToks with but I also hang it in here because I just felt like it looks so cute in here for spring. And then I have my laundry basket, which is from the 99 cents only store, my Bluetooth scale, which is from Amazon. And that's pretty much it y'all. Oh, this shelf, you guys already know, it's the same shelf from Ikea, need to paint that. Then I just have some extra perfumes and whatnot, some miscellaneous stuff up there. And that's pretty much it. We are back at the door. I hope this video inspires you guys to be creative with your space. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. And I can't wait to see you loves in the next video. And today's shout out goes to my girl Trina, Victoria, Sophia, and Shawnee. Thank you girls so much for commenting on my videos and supporting the channel. I love you so much. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.